one thing that Surfside is known for is the uh, amount of snow outerwear we carry. We carry hundreds and hundreds of jackets for men and girls and women and little boys. Uh, one of the biggest differences in the jacket is not only the price, we have jackets ranging from $99 in men's all the way up to $500 and beyond. And a lot of that has to do with waterproof and breathability. Waterproof and breathability is one of the single most important elements in any jacket or pants in your outerwear repertoire. The difference in it is, is how much water penetrates the fabric versus the breathability of the fabric. Uh, we'll demonstrate in a later demo how that actually works. We carry Gore-Tex jackets and pants from several major companies. Uh, Gore is a proprietary name to the company Gore. So wherever you see the Gore label in the jackets, it's uh, much the same thing with the exception of the different levels of Gore. For instance, right here we have the Burton AK Gore Windstopper Fleece and it feels much like a sweatshirt. And it isn't waterproof like the other Gore jackets I'm going to show you, but it is windproof. This fleece, which feels no different when you put it on than a regular polar fleece top, keeps you 250% warmer than the non-Gore Windstopper equivalent. This next jacket is by Quicksilver. Now this is more of a traditional Gore jacket, and you'll see all the Gore jackets that we carry have this Gore name on it. Gore is the most waterproof, breathable fabric that we carry in this store. It's a laminate, either two layer or three layer, and it's waterproof breathability ratings are off the chart so they don't even rate it. The next Gore jacket I'm going to show you is one of the Vulcan ones we have, and we have other ones too. This jacket is a Gore jacket, and you can see it has the same label on it as the previous Quicksilver jacket, so it has the Gore laminate within it. This jacket also as well as the Quicksilver one I just showed you, features the Riri waterproof zipper. You can't have a waterproof breathable jacket without a waterproof zipper. These zippers are bulletproof and waterproof. As I open the jacket, you'll also see something in the Volcom line. They call it the thermal defense system. What this system does is also known as the TDS system. There's panels throughout the jacket right through here. You can see the different colors on these panels. These panels are to keep this Gore jacket light and maneuverable, but to keep you warm in the most extreme areas where you lose temperature within your body. Another thing exclusive to Vulcan Premium jackets is a feature called ZipTech. ZipTech is an integration between jacket and pants that features a zipper on the bottom of the jackets and on the top of the band, pants near the uh, waistband. This il virtually eliminates any snow that can enter in powder conditions or gnarly conditions you might encounter on the mountain. It's kind of like uh, riding in a one-piece suit without looking kind of dorky. These are cool jackets. Another thing on Vulcan jackets, and I'm going to put it on to demonstrate this, is something they got, have called Facetech. Facetech is a new innovation from Vulcan as of last year. So in really cold conditions, especially if you're on a chairlift in Mammoth, when the wind's blowing 30 miles an hour and you're freezing, you can simply reach back into your hood, pull this inner liner over, and just like that you have a protective face mask. This jacket I'm wearing is the Burton AK2L Stagger Jacket. Now I have it on because I want to demonstrate how some of the features on this jacket work. First of all, I have these powder cuffs right here and they're not like your traditional ones. As you can see they're a simple strap and I just put it on and I felt how comfortable it was but I don't feel as confined as I do in some other competitors powder uh, cuffs here. The other part is you can see Riri zippers just like on the Volcom jacket we talked about and the Quicksilver jacket completely waterproof. This jacket when I zip it all the way up like we're on the chairlift covers my whole nose so when I put my hood up after I unzip it, it's a virtual barrier to any snow or wind that can come my way. It also has a hood that articulates quite nicely. All I have to do is reach back here, pull on the string, and it pulls this way. This way you don't have a big bulky jacket messing up your peripheral vision.
really good feature. All the technical outerwear that we have here at Surfside has waterproof breathable ratings uh, such as 108 or 1010. You'll see these numbers on all the hang tags. What this uh, tells you when you're buying a garment is the waterproofness of the fabric with the breathability. So you have two things, waterproof, breathability. In essence, the most waterproof fabric on earth would be known as a raincoat. You know, you throw a raincoat on, you don't get wet. The problem is, in an active sport like snowboarding or skiing or any mountaineering sports, you're going to sweat. Everybody sweats. What happens to that sweat when you start cooling down? You get cold and clammy. Anybody that's uh, stuck outside in a survival situation will know never to wear cotton because cotton holds that moisture in. So, what we're going to demonstrate here is exactly how waterproof and breathability works. We're going to use Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is a brand name used in many of the brands that we carry in here from Volcom, Quicksilver, Burton, etc, etc, etc. They all have a Gore offering. Gore-Tex is the most waterproof yet breathable fabric known to any of us here at Surfside and it works amazingly. This is Meredith here. Hi. We're going to demonstrate how Gore-Tex works. This is simply a Gore-Tex membrane. Now Meredith is going to dunk her hand inside this bucket. It's completely wet. Do it again Meredith just so they can see the drips. And she's going to put it in this glove. Now we're going to seal the glove like this. She's going to re-immerse her hand in the bucket and move her hand around vigorously for two minutes illustrating exertion on the snow. Keep in mind her hand when she put it in was sopping wet. Okay so it's been approximately two minutes now so we're going to have Meredith pull her hand out of this Gore-Tex liner. First we'll pull it out of the water to let you know it was completely submersed and honestly we didn't do any drying off or anything, you just have to trust us on that. Now we're going to pull her hand out and what do you think? Completely dry. Okay, this is amazing stuff you guys. This is how waterproof breathability works. In essence, air molecules are smaller than water molecules. And don't ask me anything else because I don't work for Gore, I'm not a scientist, I'm just a snowboarder and I know this stuff works. You know, and that's the only problem would be you could buy a thousand dollar Gore-Tex snowboard jacket and you put one layer of cotton on under it and it messes up this whole process. You would be cold and clammy and that thousand dollar jacket you just bought, worthless.